Hello, friends. Hola, amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz to be with you. A estar contigo. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre to sing and play. A cantar y jugar. Cause on our menu. Porque en el menu is finished today. Everybody sing. Spinach? No, I said Spanish. Okay, eat your spinach with us today. Eat your spinach! With Evan and Vanessa. Hola, amigos! Hello, friends. Me llamo Evan. My name's Evan. Y yo me llamo Vanessa, and my name's Vanessa. Welcome back to Eat Your Spanish! Today is a very special day because this is the episode 2 of season 2, or episode 2 of season 2. We can't wait to share special songs with you and get a chance to catch up with our friends Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse! So, Vanessa, what do we have on the Eat Your Spanish menu today? Good question, Evan! It looks like we have a listener that guessed one of this week's special words. Evan, who is this week's special amigo? Hold on, let me check the printout. Oh wow, it looks like it's our amigo Shiloh. Let's listen to his question. Hi, my name is Shiloh and I'm seven years old and I want to know how you say um, cousin in Spanish. Wow, Shiloh, that was an amazing coincidence, because today we are going to be learning the name for cousin. Great guess, amigo. Now before we tell you what it is, let's talk a little bit about what we have in store for today. Today is an exciting lesson because we'll be hearing a song that may sound a little bit familiar if you've been a long-time listener, but this time the words will sound a little different. Today, we get to learn even more words used to talk about familia or family. If you haven't heard our family episode from season one, we really recommend starting with that one so that you can learn all of the other words first. Today, we'll be learning the words for aunt, uncle, female cousin, and male cousin, just like Shiloh guessed. <laughs> stepdad, stepmom, stepbrother, and stepsister. Wow, that's so exciting, Vanessa. Family members are some of the most special people in our lives, and it's really exciting to know how to say them all in Spanish. Yeah, I agree. So after we have our fun lesson, we'll sing the new version of our Mi Familia song together. And then last but not least, well, I'll give you one little clue. Hmm, I think I know what you're talking about, Vanessa. I can't wait to get started. Are you all ready to have some fun, amigos? All right, let's go. Spanish lesson time! So, Vanessa, you named a lot of family members before. How do you say all of those words in Spanish? Great question, Ev. I know eight words seems like a lot, but because they are so similar to each other, I think we can do it all with just a little bit of practice. To say aunt and uncle, you say tía and tío. To say female cousin, you say prima. And to say male cousin, you say primo. Then for step parents, you would say madrastra for stepmom and padrastro for stepdad. And then last but not least, stepsister is hermanastra and stepbrother is hermanastro. Are you all ready? Let's start off with aunt and uncle. For uncle, we say tío. So repeat after me. Tío. 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 And now for aunt, we say tía. So repeat after me, tía. 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 Great work, amigos. Now for male cousin, in Spanish we say primo. So repeat after me, primo. 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 
primo. And now for female cousin, we say prima. So repeat after me, prima. 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 Excelente, amigos! Yeah, great job, friends. Dos down, dos to go. For stepmom and stepdad, the words are slightly different from each other. For stepdad, we say padrastro, and for stepmom, we say madrastra. So let's repeat them together. We'll start with stepdad. So in Spanish, we say padrastro. Repeat after me. Padrastro. 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 And for stepmom, we say madrastra. So repeat after me. Madrastra. 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 Great work, amigos! Last but not least, we've got the words for stepbrother and stepsister. For stepbrother, we say hermanastro. So repeat after me. Hermanastro. 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 And our last word for today is for stepsister, which is hermanastra. So repeat after me. Hermanastra. 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 Excelente, amigos. You did such a wonderful job. Yeah, great work, friends. Your Spanish is getting really good. I think we all know what time it is now. Spanish song time! All right, amigos. You've done such great work practicing our new words. Now it's time to sing them in a song. This song is the sister song of our first Mi Familia song. The melody and chorus should sound very familiar to you if you've listened to the Mi Familia episode in season one. Except this time, we're replacing the first group of family members with our new group of family members. So when I sing a part that sounds like this, That's my uncle, that's mi tío. You can repeat with me on the count of tres. Uno, dos, tres. That's That's my my uncle, that's mi tío. Excelente! Now what would you repeat if I sang, That's my cousin, that's my primo. Let's do the next part all together on the count of tres. Uno, dos, tres. That's my cousin, that's mi primo. Great singing, amigos! Now we'll do this for every word that we went over today. So listen closely to the song while it's playing and you'll know what part to sing next. Don't worry if you don't get all of the words to the song on the first listen. Our songs are made to be listened to over and over again. And the more you listen, the more you'll remember. That's so true, Vanessa. I know so many of our listeners out there have memorized the words to lots of Eat Your Spanish songs. In fact, I bet almost all of you have memorized the words to the Eat Your Spanish theme song. So if you ever have any trouble remembering or keeping up with the new words in our songs, just hit the rewind button and sing it again. All right, amigos, are you ready? Here we go. That's 
my stepmom, mi madrastra, that's my stepdad, mi padrastro, that's my stepdad, mi padrastro, that's my stepbro, mi hermanastro, that's my stepbro, mi hermanastro, that's my stepsis, mi hermanastra, that's my stepsis, mi hermanastra. Together is so much fun. And did that song sound familiar to you from the first season? Yeah, it did. It was a lot of fun singing it again with our new words. Well, now it's time for us to take a little break while our good friends Mr. Mouse and Mrs. Elephant take over the show for a while. Hasta pronto. See you soon. Well, I've got a couple friends, and don't you know? If I told you who they were, well, you might say, Aw, he's as tiny as a flower. She's as giant as a house. Yes, it's Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. Hi there, babe. You look about as cute as a bug in a rug. Oh, and I love your mask. Is that an N95 with cheese stickers on it? It matches your little cheese bow tie so nicely. What can I say? I, uh, dress to impress. I like your mask too. I've never seen a trunk mask before, but I love all the glitter and jewels. Oh, this old thing? Thanks, babe. I made it myself. Oh, I can't wait for your prima's wedding to start. I have never been to a mouse wedding before, but this place is so beautiful and spacious. Getting hitched during a pandemic is tricky business, but I just love how they gave us enough space to social distance. Also, I can't wait to meet so many of your family members. I still haven't met your Teos or Primas. Or your step-parents and step-siblings. I just know they're gonna love you, Mrs. Elephant. Ooh, look, there's a photo slideshow about to start. Let's go to our spot in the back so we don't block anyone's view. Maybe I can sit on your head so I can see. Sounds like a great plan, Mr. Mouse. Oh, look, someone's waving at us over there. Oh, look at those cute little paws. Such a handsome older gentleman. Why, you look just like him, whiskers and all. My goodness, Mr. Mouse, is that your papa? Oh yeah, it sure is. And right over next to him is my madrastra, or stepmom. And even my tiny little baby hermanastra and hermanastro, or stepsister and stepbrother. They came along too. <laughs> This is my special lady friend, Mrs. Elephant. Hola! Hola! Hola, Mrs. Elephant! Hola! Hola, Mrs. Elephant! Hola, everybody! Such a pleasure to meet all of y'all. Mr. Mouse has so many great stories about growing up in such a beautiful big familia. I'm just over the moon to finally meet ya! Papa Mouse, well, I can see why my boy loves you so much. He talks about you like it's going out of style. Oh, that is such a nice thing for you to say. He's a good boy, he is. And he talks an awful lot about you. Says you all moved in together and that he sure loves it. Oh, well, thanks for telling us that, Papa Mouse. Mr. Mouse. Yeah, it's been really great so far. Well, we better get over to our blanket. Looks like the slideshow's about to start. Bye now. It's been so nice to meet y'all. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure. Oh, and do not forget to grab yourselves a couple of those dumpster dumplings out back. They are filled with stinking hot trash. Why, well, I might just snack into one of those right now. Oh, slideshow starting. Wow, Mr. Mouse, it was so nice to meet your papa and Madrastra. Your papa is just like you. Oh, I better be quiet. Look, the slideshow is so beautiful. Wow, look at that sweet pic, Mrs. Elephant. 
That's my prima when she was a little baby mouse. Aw, and the next picture is of her new partner when they were little too. So cute! Aw, and look at your Tio and Tia. They look so happy to be holding their new baby mouse. Your prima must be super lucky little mouse to have such loving parents. Yeah, that's totally true. All of my aunts and uncles are really great, but my Tio Leo is a really especially good dad. He was a stay-at-home mouse parent for most of my prima and primo's life, and their mama, my Tia, worked her little tail off as a brand manager of a little local establishment you may have heard of called Chuck E. Cheese's. That's why they could afford her wedding gown to be made of real flower petals. My goodness, that's fancy. Well, fancy flower dress or not, I can tell there's a lot of love in your familia, and that's the most important thing of all. Yeah, that's true, Mrs. Elephant. My mama and padrastro never really had a ton of cheddar when I was growing up, if you know what I mean. I even had to find my own crumbs to eat a lot of the time. And I certainly wouldn't be able to buy you a real rose petal gown for your wedding. Uh, hypothetically, I mean. Um, like if that was ever a possibility. <laughs> uh, but anywho, the kind of love we share is so special, Mrs. Elephant. I wouldn't trade it for the finest feta in all the world. Oh, Mr. Mouse, you just melted my heart into a puddle. And for the record, a rose petal dress is the last thing I think about when I imagine us taking a walk down the aisle one day. You know, I've thought about that too, Mr. Mouse, and I'm sure we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All I know now is, <clears throat> I love you, a bushel and a peck, Mrs. a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck, a hug around the neck, and a barrel and a heap. Excuse me, but will the elephant in the back of the room please wait until after the slideshow to sing? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. I don't know what got into me. I'm just, I'm surrounded by all this beautiful mouse love. It, it just makes me want to sing. I'm so sorry for interrupting. <laughs> well, it, it's okay. We, we understand. We're so happy that you're joining us tonight with our favorite little primo, Mr. Mouse. Maybe you could sing for us later tonight, after the ceremony? Oh, wow! I would love to! Did you hear that, Mr. Mouse? I'm going to be putting on a performance later! Wow, that's great, babe! I love you so much! And I love you too, mi corazón! Mm. Mm. Oh, look! Here comes your prima and your tío! It's time for the wedding to start! Hey! Hooray! That was such a beautiful mouse wedding. And Mrs. Elephant sure has a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. Mr. Mouse's family seems like such a loving group of mice. I'm glad they found a way to safely celebrate Mr. Mouse's prima's wedding and that Mrs. Elephant finally got to meet the whole mouse familia. Oh man, that sound means it's time to say goodbye. We've had so much fun with you all today. First, we learned the words for aunt and uncle, which are tia and tio, for female cousin and male cousin, which is prima and primo, for stepmom and stepdad, which is madrastra and padrastro, and last but not least, stepsister and stepbrother, which is hermanastra and hermanastro. We also had so much fun singing our new version of the Mi Familia song with you all. Singing is such a fun way to learn Spanish, and it's especially fun to sing with you all, our amigos. And of course, we can't forget about Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. Watching those two lovebirds really makes me feel so feliz. And it was so nice that even in the midst of a pandemic, people can come together in a safe way to share their love with their familia and community. Well, I guess all that's left now is to sing the goodbye song. We hope you all will sing along with us.
Adios, amigos. Goodbye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Eat Your Spanish podcast. You can support our podcast by visiting patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish or by subscribing to it and leaving a review on iTunes. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or on the web at eatyourspanishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Adios. Adios.